Okay, now I will show you another examples for sign magnitude number and two complement number. So we look at a uh, first question A. Okay, show decimal negative fifty eight as a ten bit sign magnitude number. So based on this question, you need to convert negative fifty eight to eight. Uh, sorry, ten bit okay, sign magnitude number. Okay, so in sign magnitude number system. Yes, you just uh, need to find uh, the magnitude of uh, decimal 58 and then you attach a uh, sign bit in front of the magnitude. Okay. So you have to make sure the total bits for your last answer must be in 10 bit. So negative 58. So when you use your calculator okay, for 58, okay, so you find the 58 uh, value okay. so uh, 58 is three equal to 1 1 1 okay, 0 1 0 so based on this value okay that's only six bit okay but your question asks you to uh, represent yeah in 10 bit okay, including the sign bit so you need to attach uh, extra zeros in front of this uh, value, okay, which is the magnitude of the 58. So you need to add another 3 zero. Okay, why 3 zero? Because uh, we want to make sure that your magnitude is actually equal to 9 bit. Okay, so this magnitude. Okay, this is a magnitude. Okay, your magnitude must be 9 bit. Okay, and then you attach sign bit in front of the magnitude which is bit 1. Okay, because the, your answer is negative. Sorry, your question is negative 58. So, bit 1 is actually your sign. Okay, this is your sign. Okay, so this is your solution okay you need to find the magnitude of the value and then you attach sign bit okay. so the total bit must be equal to 10 bit okay. so this is how you represent uh, decimal okay by using the sign magnitude number system okay so we just have two parts sign and also the magnitude okay. b a convert decimal negative 27 to 8 bit to complement number so because the decimal value is negative uh, value okay, so you you need to show several steps okay before you get your last answer so we have uh, several steps okay, how we can represent negative number to two complement number system okay. so first step you need to find positive 27 okay so positive 27 you need to represent by using 8 bit okay the first step okay you must start okay using 8 bit okay as uh, required in the question so 27 when you use your calculator so you will get 1 1 0 one one so this is the value that you get when you use calculator so based on this value it only has five bits okay, because the question asks you to use eight bit meaning that you need to add extra zero in front okay so you have to add three zero okay and then at the same same time uh, we also want to represent in form of positive okay so that's why the first bit must zero okay second step Okay, you need to complement each bit. Okay, complement each bit. Okay. So you will get one 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 zero zero one zero zero. So that is the value after you complement. And then third step at one. Okay. Two the complement value okay so your complement value is one 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 zero zero one zero zero so you just add one okay you perform uh, binary addition okay so you will get one 
zero one zero zero one one one. So this will be your your answer for this question. Okay. So negative twenty seven is equal to one 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 zero zero one zero one into complement number. Okay. So based on my uh, solution here. Okay, the important part is actually you need to represent the first step okay, by using 8 bit and of course the second step also must be in 8 bit and when you uh, all the first and second step using 8 bit so your last answer must also in 8 bit third question okay, convert the two complement number 10111011 0, 1 to a decimal number. Okay, so based on this question, okay, uh, the two complement number okay, start with bit 1, meaning that your answer must be in negative number. So if the answer in negative number, meaning that you need to show uh, several steps, okay, the conversion between two complement to decimal number. Okay, so first step, okay, you need to complement each bit okay complement each bit so from this question you need to complement this value right so you will get 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 okay second step add 1 okay, to complement value okay so your complement value is 0 1 0 0 0 one zero zero one zero so you add one okay so you will get one one zero zero one zero 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 one zero so based on this binary okay you need to find the decimal value okay so how to find the decimal value you just use the calculator okay so the answer is 275 okay and then don't forget to attach sign negative okay because our question okay is uh, start with bit 1 so the question here start with bit 1 okay so that's why your answer also must have the negative value okay so negative 275 Okay, decimal. Okay. So this is how you represent or you convert the value okay, by using sign magnitude number system and also to complement number system. So I hope based on this example, you can uh, fully understand the concept of sign magnitude number and also to complement number.